The dust has barely settled after the end of the grueling faction war, and turbulent times are rising in the valley once again. While the victorious but weakened forces of the Brotherhood have gone to mend their wounds, the residents of the valley are suffering from the raids of the Ravagers and the remnants of the Haganate. But where some people see crisis and suffering, others see opportunities to realize their plans. The inhabitants of the Harsh North are once again making their move. Commissar Hela, who's become the voice of Hyperborea, invites the survivors to stand under their banners and take up arms to bring order and justice to the valley. Well, survivors, dress warmly because we're once again heading north, which, as always, has a lot of interesting things in store for us. Updated maps, a new game mode, lots of new parts, a new kind of freezing weapon, and a 75-level battle pass. All of this is coming in the Frostbite Assault season. In the first expedition to the northern Vaterkvarn base, captured by Lloyd and the Ravagers, the northerners managed to find a refrigerant, a component for the production of cryogenic weapons. And there are several such weapons waiting for us. The first one is the Frost Cannon, Scotty, which releases a jet of refrigerant towards the enemy and freezes parts, making them more vulnerable to being shot through. A reverse flamethrower, you say? Maybe so. Or maybe not, because thanks to its perk, the enemy who's hit by the jet will also deal less damage. Can your Dracos do this, Ms. Odagon? The second weapon in line is no less formidable, the legendary Narwhal Cannon, which fires projectiles with refrigerant. The explosion from such a projectile freezes vehicle parts, increasing the damage they receive in battle. Prepare to blast your enemies into pieces of ice. Finally, the third exemplar is the epic mortar Jotun, which leaves a cloud of refrigerant that freezes and reduces the speed and power of anyone who drives into it. And now let's take a look at the other new additions of the Frostbite Assault season that can melt even the coldest of hearts. For those who like to hide from the enemy's eyes, the Hyperboreans have prepared a new legendary invisibility module, the Yeti, which, unlike the Chameleon, is available at any moment of the battle. That's right, you can disappear for just a second, dropping homing rockets from your tail, then reappear to strike and disappear again to evade pursuit. However, the total duration of this module is not endless and is limited to 30 seconds for the entire battle. But this resource can also be increased, albeit at the cost of your safety, with an epic ammunition cell, Rune 1, that extends the lifespan of the Yeti and boosters. Next up is the legendary engine, Fin Whale, which is colossal in size and designed specifically for those who like to drive fast. Because the faster you drive with it, the more durable and accurate your weapons become. The new legendary cabin, Whaler, will help you put all this magnificence on your armored car into action. It doesn't matter if you're shooting or being shot at. The cabin absorbs the impulse from the shots and converts it into its own energy, increasing the speed, impulse, and projectile damage of your weapons. It's time for new battles. Prepare to carry out the Northern Justice in the new mode of the same name where you and three other daring warriors will have to fight against waves of heavily armed lunatics. Hold out for a longer time, and the North will reward you as well. And the Sandy Gulf, Bridge, Old Town, Control 17 Station, Orbital Station, and Ashen Ring locations have been adapted for battles on armored aircraft. So, do you feel cold yet? And these aren't all the novelties that await you in the game the novelties that can warm you up even in the coldest of temperatures. See you in the Frostbite Assault season.